Welcome back, ladies and gents. Headsets on. <laughs> Game 11. Are you ready? I'm, I'm more than ready. This is one of the best pro scrims we've ever seen, and we've done 40 of them now. This is number wow. 40. I want to thank you all for joining us all night long. This has been one of the most, honestly, one of the best birthdays ever. I didn't think working That's on fine. my birthday would be fun. I'm having a freaking blast, and I hope you guys are enjoying the action as well. We're going into game number 11, and Aches, he told me he's going to win this for Clayster, a birthday present. He's, he's going big. It's S&D Raid, the final game, Evil versus complexity of course complexity playing with clayster for the first time on our pro scrims evil they picked up huddle from unite they've basically formed out of everyone who came from all different teams and they are showing that they have what it takes to compete with the very best in the world they were down 70 points and made an amazing comeback in game number 10 to finish 243 to 160 something we're jumping on board with the defensive squad at the start and actually, as I say that, it looks like Tuquik's not going to find anything. Let's go to the bomb carrier, the attacking squad, Complexity, on your screen. TP with his AN-94. Actually, that's a foul. And Clayster, he's trying to get an angle on a player up top of these beast stairs. Yeah, if he could pick off this player, that could give TP the opportunity to go in and, and plan that. And that one player on the stairs is Replays. So okay. TP's waiting for this one. But Replay sees him because of that MMS. And nice shots by Clayster. Replays is down. Huddle still up there in laundry. TP's going to take care of business. Now Cloyster with the perfect cover. He's picking up two. A birthday performance. It's all up to Too Quick as the bomb is being planted by the TP at active. the moment. Here's your mini map. Too Quick about to find some action behind a head glitch over there. Spots him. He's going to have to rotate around. They know where he's at as well, though. And down goes Too Quick. Perfect bomb, execution of a Step slow up. B plant there by Complexity. You know, I, I just want to point out that Clayster, right? And here's the final kill cam. You see Clayster here. The shots were very fast for him. It almost sounded like he was shooting an, a an AN-94. But oh, yeah. the thing I want to point out was that Huddle, I believe it was Huddle that sides. was actually, no, replays, was at the staircase there. Yep. He just showed the tip of his head, the tip of his head, and Clayster will punish you in a heartbeat. That's just how good his foul is. He's pulling out the foul and watching poolside. Meanwhile, Crim6 is going to be my player to watch on defense for Complexity. They're up 1-0. Remember, you need 6 to win this final game of S&D, and Crim6 has a sniper watching for that bomb carrier to come out the red door. Meanwhile, they allowed everyone to push into ring here for the evil lineup can Aix connect with his shot. All kinds of fire going down. Finally, they take out Crim6. So it's a three on four after replays takes him down in favor of evil. And Aix is not going to be in a good spot either. He has to drop back and rethink his positioning. MSMC with quick draw on his hand here. And he could find one player in front of him. He is trying to get into this gunfight there. But there are there is going to be a complexity oh, member who will unfortunately get taken down. Nice pressure by too quick. I'm and Clayser. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I missed right. them all there. One kill for Huddle. One kill for Replays. One for Too Quick. And the bomb in the hands of Replays going down at the moment. The Can Clayster get this kill? He's actually going to go for the Ninja Defuse here. I ah. love this decision. But I have a feeling he's about to be spotted by that guy right up there. in Laundry. Game over. <laughs> I lost that round, but it's not over yet. You know, it was great because if he would have landed it like on the side, probably could have gotten that. But it was I'm right in front of Sneak up. <laughs> Get shit. <laughs> it was like, they cannot see me <laughs> if I'm on the ground. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. But one-to-one uh, -one here, and good stuff and from Evil. I mean, that this is what I expect. The way that this entire you know pro scrim has played out, they've been trading left and right games, trading games of rounds of search and destroy. I don't expect uh -oh. anything different. What Crim was that? running into his teammate TP, who was going collision. after the bomb. Once again, it's a B push, and you see already Aegis going to win that sniper duel in the middle of the map. Will give first blood to Complexity. He clears out A. That's going to signify everyone is here Ooh. at B, and that is Replays picking up all kinds of kills. It took me forever to get to him, but in that time, he picked off Good three Replays going round. off, and we get a chance to see him in the final kill camp. Nope, this one's going to be Huddle. Yeah, and I just want to point out, too, the way that uh, Replays play that was very different from that last round. Final kill cam, Huddle. Great shots there with the AN-94. But he, in the first round, he played back yeah, top stairs. Inside. He didn't yep. really have many options. But then he got the stun, knew that he had yeah, a bunch of them there, and then, then just went right with the pressure. So that was yeah, great yeah, plays yeah, from yeah. Uh, from replays. <laughs> and now we're going to be going to this round four here. And I tell you, Puckett, Evil is playing very good. MMS with the foul also has his DSR as replays. Meanwhile, it looks like Too Quick and Friends, they're going to have some action in the middle of the map. Huddle going for his first kill. That complexity player staying alive. So still four up for both squads. 
Too quick with the bomb. We're going to huddle as he is playing very aggressive. That's Krim 6 answering back. Now oh. Krim going for a second, and he does take out the bomb carrier. Did he notice it? Yeah, now he does. He's going to call that out. Aix is going to rotate. It's going to be a two-on-four situation for John and Replace. Yeah, this is definitely a knockover. That bomb being so far up there and them knowing clearly that they have the upper hand in this case. Re Evil is just going to have an uphill battle on this one, and I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. I'm calling this one for complexity right away. Yep, 45 seconds left. Do you just wait this out and avoid giving any more score streaks? Or Probably. do you have to make a challenge? I mean, you could try and see if you can get, pick off a few kills there and then survive. That's the safe goal. Oh, man. Do it again, John. <laughs> if he would have peeled him on that one, that would have been insane. But you know what, though? They could do this here if John was able to get that shot. Replay still in the very back of the garage. You, you're wondering, why doesn't he come in to help out his teammate? Well, he's watching John's flank, so he actually is helping him out. John being trusted with everything in the world, and it's all up to replays. And it looks like replays, the reason why... He's working on them score streaks. He's going to just stay alive going into round number five as Complexity ties it up with some solid D. Round, yeah, it was definitely very yet. smart there of uh, replays just drop back. And I think John pretty much just told him, hey, listen, I'm going to go out there and create some diversion so that they don't take you out. That could have been a communication there between those two players. Still, nonetheless, a great effort from Evil. Now we're going to be 2-2 two to two here, Puckett. And Off again, it's just trading back and forth. These two teams, they, they do this all the time. It's, it's been very interesting. So far, it's been a quiet night for Clayster and S&D. I said he is the reason. Well, I guess his S&D game is the reason they picked him up. Not only is a phenomenal anchor for the hardpoint game types as well as CTF, but his S&D game is so strong. Aches, though, having a great game, opens it up with another snipe on replay. So... Already, first blood once again in favor of complexity on their offensive side. Yeah, and you know, it's pretty funny because I actually heard from someone that uh, Clacer was going to play more aggressive and not be their anchor. Okay. But I'm actually just completely wrong on that one. He is their anchor. I mean, it almost seems as if they're all just trading on roles there, which is fantastic. Awesome. But again, I think Clacer's playing that role. So I just wanted to point that one out there because I was talking with Jacob about it the other day. Looks like Clay is looking through the pillars. Can't spot anyone. I showed you Aix there was yeah. battling a player over on the, actually in the art area. Clayster, he's going to slowly make his way to the bomb. His teammates are going to cover. There's one in laundry. Aix has the middle control. Clay should be safe to plant this in. Yeah. You know, we didn't make a big deal out of it at the start, but the snipe from Aix to shut down replays who was going for streaks was so big for complexity. A momentum boost for them. And it definitely took the wind out of the sails for evil. However, too quick doing what he can. It's too quick and huddle in a two on two versus aches. And just as I say that, it's all up to huddle as Clayster takes down remains. too quick. Yeah, not the spot that huddle wants to be in here. He has his B23 out, which makes perfect sense in case someone creeps around the corner. But now it's time to think about the long game. And that's exactly what Huddle's going to do. Find someone oh. as soon as he comes to ramp. Able to close that one out, but there's going to be one player left, and he's going to be right by the bomb site. Clay was right behind the bomb. Did he see him? No, he didn't. He's going to go for the diffuse. Ha, <laughs> Clayster laughs. Good job. <laughs> it's like pity, pitiful human. Yeah. I'll destroy you. All right, so <laughs> Clayster gives complexity the lead once again. Here he is in the smallest round ending kill cam possible. <laughs> and boom, boom. That's enough. Good night, Huddle. My former teammate, says Clay. We take the lead. However, it's going to be evil now. Search and destroy. Back on offense. What do they decide to do? Will they go A? No one has attempted it yet. It's been five straight B pushes. Usually A is reserved for that, that real surprise push, right? You, you don't want to... B is safe. B is very, very safe. A, on the other hand, and oh, man, if Krim would have gotten that shot, I'm looking on the other side there. That would have been a pretty good one. But exchanges back and forth in the sniper department, by the way, Puckett. Yeah, John pulling out his pistol will pick up his second kill of the round. So it's a two on two. Clayster on a four kill streak going up. And there is going to watch as Aix picks up one. Aix goes down, though. So it's two quick Complete versus division. Clay. You're the only one Ooh. left. The anchor battle here in SND. Yeah, and now look, see what two quick is doing here. An A, an a plant actually makes sense because... He's not really going to expect that. If he gets the bomb down right now, he'll be pretty good. He just has to watch out for that corner. Now, granted, you see on the mini-map there that Clay's on the complete other side of the map. But, again, you always just want to make sure you check your bomb corners. Online. Bomb is down for too quick. Can like he this. tie it up at three apiece here with a kill on Clayster? Otherwise, he just needs to wait him out for another 30 seconds. Remember, it takes seven and a half seconds to get the defuse. All too quick has to do is stay alive and check that bomb periodically. And you know what's crazy about this? They're right next to each other, Puckett. 
Look at this. They're going to find each other. Boom. Nice shot from Too Quick. He pretty much came up big on that round there. They really needed that one. They did not want them to go up 4 2. Here he is one more time, and you're rounding in and kill cam. Corner oh, was I. You saw Clayster pull up his gun once. If he would have kept it up, definitely had the kill. Yeah. Slight hesitation, expecting too quick to back down, and Clay has cleaned up. 3-3, three, three. we're going back to complexity with him on offense, and let's watch Aix. Can he get this intro pick in the middle of the map? You know, I think he can. I mean, if, if he does, it, it, granted, if the player actually pushes, and there is yep, one pushing, John. that's John. John versus Aix, the sniper Ooh. battle won by John, and John immediately rotates over to A, checks it, doesn't see anything, looks middle again, fires randomly. Just drawing some attention. Meanwhile, his teammates calling out. They're all going B. They're all going B. John had a quick shot opportunity. However, the swing of that DSR not going to work out in his favor. Replays wisely backing up, and it sounds like an RC is on the map somewhere. Yeah, I don't know who called out that RC, but what I do know is that it didn't do anything besides maybe just scout out and too nice quick blank. with two. Oh, man. And it's all up to the last player, yep. Krim6, and it looks like we're about to see Evil take a 4-3 lead. If Krim can pull off a 1v3, it wouldn't be his first here on Raid. But, man, this is going to be difficult. Look at that spread from the Evil lineup. Yeah, they are more than prepared. They know exactly where he is. That one player pincering in there. Shots are going to go down. He's pinned by Laundry. And, you know, if he moved the round to the side by Kitchen, he would have gotten picked off anyway. So Evil takes that round. Back to evil on offense now. Remember, that was all sparked by two. Well, John getting the first snipe and then two quick really going huge. And then replays showing you why the MMS is amazing in SND. If you don't have cold blooded, nice angle. Yeah, it really was. He just, I mean, you, I wouldn't have expected that at all. And he was just standing in a real difficult area to hit as mm -hmm. well. And he got picked off. So that MMS definitely very strong on this map. John running straight forward with an MSMC and a knife. So the fastest possible class. He is going to be pushing up into the kitchen. And he will catch Crim6. All the kills going in favor of this evil squad. They lost too quick, but they took out three. The last one alive is TP. Evil looking to close this one out with another round win. They will go up 5-3 unless TP can go huge. Yeah, and I don't know if that player saw TP because they kind of just exchanged each other at the same time. But here goes TP finding one in front of him. And Puckett, that next player is going to be up top in the building. And the other player is going to be right behind him. He nails this kill. 1v1, oh, Puckett. Oh, man. This is Can insane. he get it? Has the opportunity. Oh. TP. Wow. Showing his gun skill. Everyone always thinks of him as the objective player, but he just pulled off a 3v1 clutch. Going absolutely huge and tying it up at 4-4. Four, four. We could be seeing game 11, round 11, if this action continues. So big is TP. Drink three times, ladies and gents. You know what? People, you know, they don't, they don't think about it. But I said it once. I'll say it again. TP is the guy you want alive in Search and Destroy. He is just that kind of player, and Search that is the reason why. Jeez. Krim6 pulling out a snipe here. Aches, he's got a snipe of his own. Clayster, he's going with the foul. Destroy TP the sticking with the MSMC. Also the earned himself an RC car with that last one. This is their first push to A. That may explain the snipers. Let's go to Aches. He's hit with an EMP early. Krim6, he actually switched back over to the AN94 after sprinting out forward. And Aches, just as I switch from, gets the first pick on John. First blood for complexity as they're pushing A. However, all of the players from Evil rotating and nice shots from Krim makes it a 2v3. Yeah, and see, the reason why a lot of players don't rush to A unless they're able to win it is because you're kind of just limited to this long-range game here. You have to pick off one or two. Now, granted, it is going to be a 2v3 here, but you know what? The angle of the uh, attacking team, it's not going to be the best. Oh, nice man. job by replays and two quick replays picking up that one. Finally, Clayster answers back. So replays and a one on two. He could answer back with Clayster. And now it is a one on one. TP with the bomb going for the plant at the moment. Replays is going to hear it. He's going to rotate TP with a same foul. So foul battle here for oh. the finish. Replays has the advantage, though, with the MMS. Yeah, he actually does, and because TP does not have cold blooded on, so this is not good for him. Both Replays players spot each them. other. This is it. This is just a game of uh, <laughs> this is just a game of who gets who first, pretty much. TP got the first shot, but dipped out, and there it is. Replay is going big in the one on one. Actually, is a two v one. Yep. Taking down Clayster, and you see clutch after clutch. First the three v one from TP, now the two v one from Replays, and it will be evil. 
getting the defuse and taking the lead. 5-4, now one round away from taking our best of 11 pro scrim. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> I would not have expected this to happen. You call this one on the money, fuck it. It's what I do, man. I, I watch a lot of Call of Duty. I, so I see. <laughs> so I see. Put me to shame, man. I'm supposed to be the Call of Duty guy. Woo, woo, you, you, you're you impressing me. All Definitely right. Are. Here we go, baby. A little rotate. <laughs> All right, well, who do you want to kick this John, round off with? He's getting boy? the first shot in the middle. You ready? All right, I'm ready. Boom. Oh, I lied. He switched to the MSMC, ah, he but you. he's going to push through the middle. Watch him sprint up and then push through. As I say that, though, he went the long way. This tells me he's going to try and loop around the back of Laundry. He spots that player top B stairs, also seeing the shots. It's going to be three down already. The last one, once again, is going to be TP. He already got a 3v1. This time, he's injured. He needs to go clutch once again to force round 11. Otherwise, Evo's got it, and this could be it. Stays alive. Incoming players, though, from B. TP can't stand up without getting picked. He dodges, firing right back while EMP wow. has no red dot. Staying alive. Those two players splitting in opposite directions, and he's fighting against the clock as well. 20 seconds left to get to that bomb site and get the defuse. You know, Puckett, lightning doesn't strike twice, my friend. TP will not be able to do this one. He's going to put some shots down. Can't seem to close that one out because remember, that other player is going to be challenging Boom. him. Boom. And there you go. John from Evil closes it out. 6-4 in game number 11. Here is your final pro scrim ending kill cam. Evil John finishing with his solid body shots. Evil picking up three straight kills at the start of that round. TP doing what he can. Brought it down to a 2v1. But in the end, it is evil. And here are your final stats of the night. Nine and four for replays. Eight and seven for John. Seven and seven for Too Quick. On the other side, eight and seven from Clayster was the best from Complexity as they fall to evil, believe it or not, in our 11 game series. What an incredible pro scrim. Thank you to all of the players who participated. We got to do a quick interview and we got John and Huddle now on the mic. Apox in here as well. Evil, how are you guys feeling? Uh, good, good, just online scrim, nothing big. Were you guys nervous going into that final final game against uh, Complexity, or are you guys pretty confident on a raid now? Uh, uh it was the first time. The in the game. Um, it Not was the worried. first time us. Yeah, it was the first time us playing as a team. We have really had no scratch or anything, but yeah. Really well. Congratulations, guys. You put yourselves in a great situation in Yemen in the second half of that when your communication was on point. I assume it was even better at the finish here. Congratulations on your 6-5 victory over Complexity. I can't wait to have you guys on the show again. Currently, you are North America's reigning champions here on MLG Pro Scrims. Will, that's going to do it for our show tonight. But before we go, we have to award the Turtle Beach Air Force XP7s, the brand new headset from Turtle Beach and Major League Gaming. You can catch it on the MLG Pro Circuit, or you'll eventually be able to get it from the MLG Pro Shop, MLGProShop.com. I'm going to have to take a minute, go through Twitter, find who had the correct answer, who picked Evil to be 6-5, our victors tonight. Golden Boy, before we go to that, though, let me get your thoughts, final thoughts on the Pro Scrim. You know what? I, I definitely uh, sold Evil short there. I eat my words. They are a uh, heck of a team. I think APOC has thrown together quite the squad here, and so long as they continue in this, in this, uh, I guess, way, they can very well, very well be a top four, maybe even win MLG Anaheim. They they impressed me that much They top eight now in your mind? Yeah, they're top eight now in my mind. I, I, did, I wasn't going to give it to them before, but they, they made me a believer tonight. I'm an evil believer as well, man. Congrats to replays. Too quick, John and Huddle. What an awesome new lineup. Cannot wait to watch yeah. them in MLG Anaheim. Of course, the spring championships going down June 28th through the 30th. Team passes are on sale right now. And you only have, I believe, nine more days left before the prices get jacked up. So if you want to get your team pass for 30% off, go to MajorLeagueGaming.com or MLGProShop.com. Pick up your team pass. We'll see you in Anaheim. And guys, we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break as yes. we award the XP7s.